Hey everybody, welcome back to Poker Collection. It's been a while since I have uh, opened any World Championships decks. <laughs> Why is Google listening? Hey everybody, welcome back to Poker Collection. It's been a while since I've documented any of the Pokemon World Championship decks. I've done it a few, few times in the past, but it's been a few years when I haven't. So I thought I'd um, check it out with my friends at Abandoned Toys and Collectibles and the Pokemon Company who've sent me one of each of the 2019 ones, uh, the latest ones, um, that took place in DC, Washington last year. Um, now, the exciting thing is I'm actually planning on attending my first ever World Championships, not to take part in the tournament itself, but to film and to meet other fans and viewers of Poke Collection as well as, you know, fans of Pokemon, um, and really just catch up with people I've never been able to meet. Um, so I'm really looking forward to potentially heading down to the London 2020 uh, Pokemon World Championship decks. Um, keep an eye out on news on that because I will be booking tickets hopefully very soon. And if I do, you'll be the first to know. And um, yeah, I really, really hope to meet some of you guys there. So let me know, are you, are you planning on attending uh, London this year? It's the first time it's taking place outside of uh, <coughs> US or Canada. And um, I'm actually quite excited because I thought this is fitting. It's 2020. Uh, almost 20 years since Pokemon came out. More, sorry, more than 20 years since Pokemon came out. And um, it's in London. It's in it's in my homeland, my, the UK, where I'm born. Um, so it'd be nice to go back to make an excuse to go back and reconnect with my hometown city. And it's funny because I'm recording this on the day anniversary of the day we actually moved from the UK to New Zealand, Waitangi Day, which is the 6th of February, uh, 2020. Uh, marks 17 years since I've moved from the UK and 17 years since I've never been back. I've never been back at all. So I thought, why not make an excuse to kill two birds with one stone? Go to the World Championships and also reconnect with my hometown in Cardiff. Um, and so, yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Let me know in the comments below if you do plan to attend because I'd love to meet, uh, create sort of a meetup or something. It'll be really cool. Um, but for now, I thought I'd showcase all of the winning championship decks uh, that we, we had um, from the World Championships last year, which was awesome also because Australia um, managed to, Henry Brand won the Masters there, so that was an amazing win, congratulations to all of you, Henry Brand especially, uh, for representing Down Under quite well. Um, so let's go through the first one, so this is um, Haruki Miyamoto from Japan, uh, he was the junior champion. And, um, I mean, it, t it tells you what comes in these championships decks. So you can actually buy these yourself if you want to uh, practice playing the card game. Now, these particular decks are not uh, valid or playable in normal tournaments, but they're, they're, they're great for casual play uh, and using kind of cards which you can normally probably... much harder to get um, because, obviously, the rarity. So they're nicely here, and it kind of kind of shows you what they used to, to, to win their particular tournament, I guess. But anyway, let's check it out. Um, obviously, they have a different particular backing to show that they're these World Championship cards. Um, it comes with a booklet and everything as well. Um, a pin, a little special deck box also, which is really nice. And, a, and, and yeah, just really, really cool. So let's grab this out. These are the two, two of the cards from it. I believe it also includes their signature as well. Right. So this is the uh, 2019 DC Washington pin, which luckily has focus to a degree. You can probably see it there. Um, I always love the World Championship artwork as well, by the way, because of just the extra thick lines of it all. It's really, really, really unique compared to the other stuff that they put out. Um, and obviously 2020 being London, um, and also representing Gala really well, so it's just perfect f fitting for um, for the new championships. But these these championship um, decks contain the same booklet, the same pin. It's only the deck and also the the deck box as well, which is the same. So I'll show you guys a quick rundown of the booklet now, um, but I won't show it to you for the rest of them. I'll just show you the decks. Um, but it has quite a lot of finalists in here, which is so cool. Um, I mean, if I was if I was to take part. 
and to be immortalized in an official Pokemon document would be really, really cool. I think the biggest achievement today, one of the big achievements I've made in working with the Pokemon company is to actually have my logo featured in an official product, which is in a flyer, uh, which is really cool here down under. People could buy it in stores and you'd see my logo. It's just so cool. Um, but how cool would that be, right? Very, very cool. So it just kind of contains a list of people that took part and also their deck lists as well. So you can sort of emulate their, their decks. And lastly, we've got the deck box here, which is really cool, um, which you can store all 60 cards that they've used. It comes with the, oh, it comes with the TC code card. I wonder what that, oh, that, that unlocks the boxes and the items as well that you can uh, get hold of in the trading card game online. So this is the entirety of um, Haruki's Haruki's. I don't know how to pronounce it. I hope I pronounce it right. Um, deck. So I'll go through it with you. There'll be repeats, obviously. I'll show you the back though. This is the back of the card, which um, signifies obviously that it's not legal in tournament play. <coughs> Gosh, a bit of a weird cough still. Um, and it shows you the the cards that they come from as well. So the sets that they come from. So we've got Tapu Fini, Marshadow, Mew, and it's got their signature right there, which is cool. Hooper, Energy Switch, another one. Custom Catcher, another one of those. Three of the oh, four of those. Uh, Power Plant, Pokemon Communication, another one of those. Electromagnetic Radar, a full play set of those. A Zero Aura GX, two of those. A Raichu and a Lolan. Raichu GX, which is cute. The Dene, which I know that had quite a bit of play. Oh, let me actually focus on this. Sorry. The Dene, <coughs> gosh. And Cherry Ball, Pikachu, Zekrom, Tapu Koko. Now, this he named this Pikarom Judge. Um, so I'm guessing Pikachu and Zekrom played a big role in it. Volkner. I'll just go through them. Oops. Got Cynthia. I've got Reset Stamp. Stadium Nav. Another Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Lysandra Labs. Judge. So it's called Pikachu Judge. So this is probably what. It's interesting how they name it. Thunder Mountain. Tag Switch. Switch. Electro Power. And I think that is it. Now the rest of it is just electric energy. That's it. That's very cool. Um, so well done to Haruki for making it to the junior champion. That's fantastic. Um, I'm just going to pop this back in here. Um, so I wish I had the talent to actually to play and play the game so competitively, but I, I admire the people that um, have that time and actually prepare so well. And I know we've got some locals here in New Zealand that are doing, you know, really, really... Aiming for that. Okay, so the next one is Kaya Lichtleitner, which sounds German. Um, his deck or her deck name was Firebox, and um, was the senior champion in and, and was from Germany. So I will show you just the deck box. Uh, so just the deck that they used, because the rest of it, the pin, the deck box, and the, the booklet is exactly the same. It just differs by um, depending on what World Championship deck you actually buy. So, very cool. It's nice to see. Um, this kind of shows a lot of creativity in, 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 in the way they, they make their decks and how different it is for everybody, which is always really cool. I know that it gets a bit samey-samey, though, when some people kind of use the most latest. Um, they use what's kind of trending in terms of the competition. So it's nice to have different ones as well, rather than everybody sort of follow the same <clears throat> same pattern. Anyway, right, we've got Victini, Prism Star there. Jirachi, which I know was quite popular um, in demand. That's a full play set of that. And we've got Nine Tails, Vulpix. Can't have Nine Tails without Vulpix. We've got Heatran GX, Fiery Flint, Heat Factory, Pokemon Communication. Um, and that's a few of those as well. Switch. Welder. Oops. The Denny is quite popular as well in this season. Quite a few of those. Uh, Turtonator. Acrobike. 
Cherish Ball. Another full play set there. Uh, escape Board. And then we've got some Fire Energy. Of course, we've got Reshi Ram and Charizard GX, which I know was popular as well. It's interesting the things that you hear, because as, as a collector, I don't really play. So, But I do hear about what's, what's kind of doing really well out there. And it's quite kind of puts it into perspective when you hit, when you open these and realising they made it to basically the finals of one. Giant Hearth. Some more fire energy. Quite a lot of fire energy there, actually. And Power Pad. And another Reshi Ram and Charizard GX as well. These will be really cool to play more advanced games with. If um, I mean, sometimes I host learn to plays for some of the kids out there. We use like normal learn to play theme decks, but having these world champ decks is actually quite useful as well to play more of a higher level version of the games, which is pre which would be quite cool, I think. Okay, right. On to um, Shintaro Ito, which was I think he was a Masters finalist. It was him versus Henry Brand, I believe, um, and his deck is called Mind Blown, which <laughs> I like because it's Blacephalon, and yes, and the mind does blow. Um, there's, yes, Masters Finals from Japan um, uses Bl Blacephalon primarily, um, but we'll have a look through and see what he's used exactly. Very fire psychic type deck as well, which tells you right there. So have you guys, um, now, like, I know these these products get released, but do you guys actually get these to, I mean, either to play or to study in a way, uh, to test them out? Like, have you ever purchased these World Champ decks, or would you ever like to go and grab them? Um, let me know what you what you think in the comments below, because I, I, I'm not actually sure how popular these these products are. It's great for the, the people who are one, who can sort of have their name immortalised in the Pokemon TCG history. And having their names and everything there, but I'm keen to I'm keen to know what you guys think because I do know that um, I mean I don't know it would be quite useful for some people, um, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so let's try this out. So we've got Mew, Cherish Ball, oops, a few of those. Uh, Ultra Space, I remember that one? Mysterious Treasure, reminds me of the Diamond Pearl series. Um, Cynthia. Oops. We got Lily, Reset Stamp, Welder, a Dedene. Dedene is really common, and Heat Ran as well, GX as well. That's pretty cool. And a Ganadel GX. So that's a new one here. Obviously, Blacephalon will be two. We've got two of those. We've got a lot of Psychic Energy, obviously. B String. Few of those, a uh, Blacephalon GX, which looks insane. Heat Factory, Custom Catcher, some fire energy there. Naganadel, um, there's a few of those. And then we've got Poipole, we've also got Harpu, some more Poipole. Fire Energy, quite a few of those. And then we've got finally uh, more Poipole and Blacephalon. As well, so obviously I can t I can tell why. Also, mind blown just works the fire and 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 the psychic bit and the fact that Blacephalon explodes, which is clever. I like the naming of that. If I if I could name a deck, I would name it something cool. That'd be quite fun to do. <laughs> Might not be a useful deck, but I like naming it. All right, last one. So this is Henry Brand, a fellow. Um, down under uh, from Australia, I believe, um, and I'm not sure whereabouts in Australia he is, but hopefully we'll get a chance to meet sometime in the future. But he's well known down here, um, so good on you, Henry Brand, for winning the World Championships uh, as a Masters champion. Fantastic stuff, um, and just real great stuff to to have a winner down under as well. Um, hopefully we'll have a New Zealand winner at some point in the very near future. So good luck to the New Zealand community as well because I know there's quite a few out there um, and you know you guys are showing promising results there um, in terms of the people I've met and the dedication to, to participating in events all I get to do is pre-releases if I'm lucky if I have time <laughs> uh, but I do enjoy opening these cards anyway um, and seeing what's going on out there um, I wish I kind of knew more about the game and the meta and stuff and what's going on but I'd never really 
I just never, I could never pay attention to the detail of it, considering how much I pay attention to detail in general. Okay, let's wrap this video up with the last deck. So this was Henry Brand's um, winning deck. So we've got Cabalion GX, we've got Custom Catcher. Um, Dedene. Dedene is very, being very popular. I mean, I sold a few cards because knowing that, you know, some people, I had some extras, so some friends wanted that. Um, but yeah, very popular. Mewtwo and Mew GX. So that's pretty cool. And we've got Welder again. <clears throat> Viridian Forest and the Ganadel. Marshadow. Ooh, got, we've got Mag Cargo. Latios GX. Jirachi GX. Very nice. Um, Espeon and Deoxys GX. That's quite nice, actually. Quite a few different kinds there. Giant Hearth. Fire Energy. A few of those. We've got Solgaleo GX, Mewtwo Mew GX again, and then we've got Reshiram and Charizard GX, uh, Mysterious Treasure, Acrobike. Feels like a combination of the decks we've seen before, actually. Builds Analysis with a few original bits, um, Cherish Ball, Electromagnetic Radar, Fire Crystal, Poker Gear 3.0. Switch and just a few psychic energies there as well. Very, very cool. All right, guys, let me know what your favorite world championship deck was below. Let me know if you've ever actually purchased these or thinking of getting them. And once again, congratulations to all the finalists in 2019. Bring on 2020. I hope to be there. And if I do, I hope to see you guys there. Please let me know if you're going to come. And maybe we could arrange something if I do end up getting there. I'd love to do that. I'll be filming. It'll be just awesome to hang out. So let me know in the comments below. And thank you, Band Toys and the Pokemon Company, for sending me this to show you guys right at home. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Write it down. Yeah.